Hello everybody, welcome to Scotty's Side. Thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I really, really do. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna listen to this video from one uh, Courtney Ryan. And uh, men aren't pursuing women anymore. Hmm, I wonder why. Let's uh I have not watched this video, so I'm going in raw. Alright, let's uh let's see what we what we have here. Hi everyone, okay. welcome back to my channel. If you're here, I'm Courtney Ryan, Hi. and today we are reacting to a TikTok. I thought okay. it would be helpful for you guys to hear a woman's perspective on this. So let's watch it together, reconvene, and I will tell you what it is. <laughs> the problem is, is I'm probably gonna say that you're wrong. <laughs> but all right, all right, all right. Text on the screen let's go, says, let's go. SOS meeting guys when single. Okay. Let's watch. We need to have a discussion on my single people because oh. I need to know what you guys would have done in the circumstance. Clap in the hands. Say like you'll meet the person that you want to start dating or the person that you're with doing things that you love, whether it's going to the coffee shop, the gym, just your everyday Hands activity, in the face. Whatever. So today I go Idiot. into the coffee shop and the second I walk in, I see the most beautiful man, just like gorgeous features, brown hair, incredibly tall. I'm like, oh. you are so my type to a T. Well. Very business-esque energy to him too. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's, that's definitely my type. He's sitting across the cafe. I'm like, I should make some eye contact with him. Let him know there's a vibe here. But um, didn't end up like huh. looking up for my computer or whatever. So I'm like, I'll just have no earbuds in so I look approachable because I've been told I don't look approachable. So I'm trying to do everything I can to make myself look approachable this man. He ends up walking over and sitting right next to me. And how it's set up in this coffee shop is you there's like one long booth and then okay. a table in front of yourself and then a chair on the other side of you. So he's oh, sitting right, right okay. next to me in this booth. And I'm like, perfect opportunity. So I'm patiently waiting for him to like spark up a conversation. But like, what would he have said? And I was too nervous to be bold and be like, hey, you're really hot. My name's Lauren. Here's my number. But like, I could have done that, but like, that's a little yeah. too ballsy of me. And like, I wanted him to just show a little confidence and maybe like pursue Ugh. a little bit because I think that's the most attractive thing in a guy. But I'm like, the fact that he got up and sat right next to me, he didn't even have to like charge his computer or anything because he didn't reach out to grab a charger because I'm like, oh, wait, why did he move across and sit next to me? So that made me a little curious. So, anyways. Bummer to make a long story short. We didn't end up having any conversation and he got up probably like I don't know 30 minutes later or something But yeah, you totally distract me from my work because <sighs> I was like, I just want to kiss you on the lips. You are gorgeous, honey But yeah, um, if you were sitting at shortwave coffee today next to me You should have shot your shot because you were beautiful. But anyways, I want to know what you guys would have done that sir. Oh boy um, Jesus Christ First of all, women can really ramble, can't they? Holy shit. Get to the fucking point. God damn. Ugh. Anyway, um, dude, if you were that into him, go fucking talk to him. It's not that hard, bitches. Oh, I want you to show confidence. No, 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 no. We don't do that anymore. Ladies, you've told us time and time again, you do not want us approaching you especially in public places like that in a coffee shop in a parking lot or whatever so this is your doing and you get to wallow in it now all right let's keep going okay so she's asking i want to know what you guys would have done in that circumstance so we're gonna tell her so first up here i want to talk about the hints that women give men you know as a woman it's always pretty obvious to me when a woman is into a guy and when she wants him to approach. Sure. But that is because I am a woman and I know how women work. But as a guy, I can absolutely see how this can be confusing. And also, there's just a lot of bad advice on the internet about this. Let's be totally yeah. transparent. <laughs> just because a girl looks at you for two seconds doesn't mean that she's interested. And there's sometimes a very fine line between is she interested in me or did she just accidentally look at me at the same time that I looked at her? So, you know, as a woman, I can confidently say, I think sometimes the way we expect men to read these hints and these minuscule cues, like it's tough out there. So I think we can acknowledge that. You know, in the video, yeah. she said she took her earbuds out to look more approachable and not having earbuds in, unfortunately, I don't think is necessarily enough for a man to say, okay, let me go up to her. She doesn't. Yeah, no shit. That doesn't mean shit to us just because you don't have earbuds in. That doesn't mean anything. Just because you take them out. Oh, shit. That means she wants to be approached. I automatically know that. No, dummy. God damn. Look, guys, real quick. I've approached a lot. I've studied, like, body language and vocal tones and stuff like that. And I could pick up on these things fairly decently. But... 
the way that that chick described it, her little story, if I was there, I wouldn't have approached her either because she didn't give any kind of hint at all. And taking out your earbuds is not, please come talk to me. And have your AirPods in. She clearly wants me to approach her. Yeah. Um, but A for effort, you know, nice try. I think that's a great starting point, but just taking out your earbuds, I don't know if that's enough to do it, especially if you didn't look up from your computer at him the entire time, like yeah. you didn't even look at him. So I would probably assume that you weren't interested. That's just from a woman's perspective. For mm -hmm. the guys watching, I would love to hear down in the comments, what makes a woman look approachable versus not approachable? Like what would signal to you that a woman is interested? I really... Oh. The biggest and easiest one, for me at least, is making eye contact, maybe doing a little smile thing, and then like slowly looking away, and then maybe looking back or something like that. It's That's the easiest cue to, hey, come talk to me. You're dropping your hypothetical handkerchief for the guy to talk to you want a man's perspective on this because I know from a woman's perspective like just the simple act of not having earbuds in I don't think would be enough for me to think that someone is interested no shit if they kept looking at me that would be a different story but just the earbuds I'm gonna say no yep. going back to the video in this specific situation I think the fact that he moved right next to her and she didn't look at him or smile or yeah. say anything to him probably made him think okay she's definitely not interested she didn't yep. even look my way when I came over here so I don't want to bother her while she works like that would be my assumption. I think it would be very different if while he was on his way over to sit next to her, she looked up from her computer and smiled at him Boom. or, you know, glancing over and smiling once he sat down. Like, I think that would Boom. make the situation very different. If I yep. got up and sat next to someone and they didn't even look up at their screen, I would think, okay, this person is very focused on what they're doing. I don't mm -hmm. want to disturb them. Mm -hmm. But maybe that's just me. This no, is also a right. perfect time to talk about why men are not pursuing women as much anymore. I think there's been a substantial decrease in the amount of men who approach women, especially in settings aside from like a bar or club or something like that, because of the fact that many women have said they don't want to be approached, they don't like I just it, say. it's a total no-no for them, yep. how it makes them feel uncomfortable, mm -hmm. how men are creepy. I could go on and on here. You know, I would say most men don't want to contribute to this issue of making women feel uncomfortable, so they might be less likely to approach. Now, I also know there are a lot of guys too who just have a fear of rejection, which is a pretty normal feeling to have. Maybe a fear of an extreme negative reaction, which I'll be honest, I don't think is as common, but social media has certainly made it seem like it is. Oh yeah. Or guys who are just more introverted or have social anxiety. So I know those things are definitely happening too. You know, I'm not a man, so I can't speak from personal experience, and for that reason, I I don't think it's fair for me to just sit here and say get over it but i will say if you don't even try you automatically fail i know rejection is scary yeah but especially with the girl making the video are are you really missing out on anything me personally just listening to her little video talking for however long it was um i would see it as there was no loss there was no, no, no gain, no loss. It's fine. Ah, oh, man, I could already tell that she's a million miles a minute. She's a headache. She's drama. And uh, uh, automatically, no. So it would be, you know, no skin off my bones f for me personally. And it can be really intimidating to put yourself out there given the current dating climate. But give yourself a dang chance to succeed. That would be my advice. But going back to this. If you want to, guys, don't feel pressured to do this kind of thing. You know, and I don't think she, that's that was really her attention was to try and pressure you into it, maybe. But don't, man. It's more and more lately, in my opinion, just the juice is not becoming worth the squeeze. Situation in the video here, I have to be honest. I was never one to recommend women making the first move mainly because I think it's attractive when the man is the bold one and takes the initiative, but I've kind of changed my mind about this and I'm definitely more open to the idea of a woman approaching or being the one to open up the floor in person specifically. In terms of online dating, I think that's different and I think men should still make the first move and take initiative, specifically on a dating app because you know why everyone is on there and the in-person worries of making someone uncomfortable isn't really a thing. I'm actually not a fan of Bumble at all for this reason, but 
back to the video. You know, if men don't want to make women Fuck feel uncomfortable apps. and they aren't picking up on these hints or they overthink the hints and don't actually think they're hints, which is absolutely understandable sometimes because sometimes these hints are really giving nothing at all. Yeah, what the heck they're not hints. To do? You know, I think doing nothing in a scenario like this as a woman is way worse than just saying hi and at least letting a guy know that you're comfortable chatting with him or into him. You don't have to be so bold and say, I think you're cute, here's my number, although that probably would make things a heck of a lot easier. But at a least saying hell of something, a lot. anything, gives the guy a green light. You know, if I were in her situation and I had the courage to say something, I think just saying hi or maybe asking what he ordered could have been totally fine. You know, it's definitely not the craziest or most bold thing in the world, but it at least gets the convo started. You know what's funny? <laughs> Is that if, if that bitch had done that and tried to initiate a conversation and he rejected her <laughs> she'd be crying on it she'd be crying online for four days straight about how many shit they're so uppity and they're like princesses nowadays you know how it goes women can't handle rejection uh i think that's another reason why she didn't have the balls to go up to the guy because he wasn't apparently showing that much interest. And so imagine her having to deal with rejection. She couldn't. She couldn't. That's why she really didn't do it. It's because a, a bitch like that cannot handle rejection. You know, from there, it would be pretty obvious then if he was interested in continuing the conversation. I think women are often much better at reading body language and noticing small details yeah, than men I'll are. agree with that. It's usually pretty easy for us to read the room. So I don't know. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think this might just make the situation more enjoyable and comfortable for everyone involved. I can totally see both sides, but I think if we want to meet people in real life, we have to get comfortable breaking some norms because clearly what's going on right now isn't necessarily working. As yeah. we already touched on in this video, I think oh, there shit. are more reasons why men aren't saying anything or approaching than just them not being confident. Um, I think they don't want to make us uncomfortable. They've seen us all talk online about how we don't like when men approach us or what scenarios are okay versus what scenarios aren't or that we just want to focus on our work and not necessarily worry about men approaching us all the time. So I think there's a lot that's going into this and I think something that would definitely help is maybe not necessarily being so bold and saying, you know, you're attractive or you're cute, can I have your number as a woman? But just opening up the floor for conversation and letting a man know that I'm okay with being talked to and I'm okay with being approached. I think that would definitely help. And I don't necessarily know if this mindset of sort of letting life pass you by and never putting yourself out there and never saying anything as a woman, simply because you want the man to be masculine or be confident or, you know, be sexy and take... Or you can't handle the fucking rejection. How about that? Grow some balls. Charge and initiate. <laughs> I don't know if that's necessarily always the most helpful thing. I can see both sides. And as a woman, I think we should really try to have more of an open mind about this. I will also say I'm starting to understand a lot more why in the old days, a woman would drop her handkerchief to oh, signal to a man that she that. was interested in him. <laughs> she would say on a walk or something. And he would pick it up and bring it over and they would start talking. And that was her green light of showing, I'm into you. Come talk to me. Bring yep. me my handkerchief. Yep. While that is incredibly unhygienic, and I would never want to use that handkerchief again after it's sitting on the ground somewhere, maybe there's a modern version of this. <laughs> what the maybe fuck? we just <laughs> open up the floor for conversation by saying hello. Or maybe one of you have a brilliant idea that you can let me know down in the comments. If you'd like. All right. Well, that's, that's enough of that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Look, ladies. All right. We're going to get down to brass tacks here. This is what you asked for. This is what you wanted. You told guys to stop approaching. You're all being creeps. You're all weird. You're all toxic. This is the environment that you bitches created, okay? And now you got you, you get to deal with it. And now if you want a guy and you want to come up to him, now you have to deal with rejection and you bitches don't because you can't deal with rejection like men can. Now, some guys can't. I totally get it. I totally understand. But it's way worse with females. So, um, and it's it's just going to keep going this way, I think, unless women get off their fucking high horses and get back to being women. But that's my opinion. 
Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'd really appreciate that. Um, like, share, subscribe. I'd appreciate that too. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. I love you all. See you in the next one. Bye.